Anyone who says hormones don't matter when it comes to fat loss can fuck all the way off. And they're most likely a dude who's never experienced childbirth, menstruation, or menopause. Ah, men, fucking knuckle draggers. Anyway, here's how to empower your hormones to empower you and burn hella fat. This video is for informational purposes only. Always consult with a physician or endocrinologist when it comes to medical or hormonal issues. Now that we got that boring shit out of the way, I can tell you more than your doctor will. It's true that caloric intake and activity level are the two biggest levers when it comes to your weight on the scale. However, calories in, calories out is simply one piece of the total daily energy expenditure puzzle. The majority, 70% or more, of your calories burned every day comes from your basal metabolic rate, or BMR. BMR is the amount of calories you burn at rest, living, functioning, breathing. Your BMR is impacted up to 20% or more by your thyroid function. So the healthier your thyroid, the healthier your BMR, and the easier fat burning becomes. The main thyroid hormones are TSH, T3, and T4. Your pituitary gland produces TSH, and then your thyroid gland produces T3 and T4. T3 is active thyroid hormone, T4 is inactive thyroid hormone. So the other part of the equation is converting T4 to T3. The more T3 you have, the higher your BMR will be, and the easier fat burning will become. This conversion takes place outside of the thyroid, which is right here, by the way, in the liver, gut, kidneys, and other organs. Three things that hinder T4 conversion. Poor gut health, stress, and low carb or low calorie dieting. Ooh, sorry keto. One thing a lot of people don't know about is the relationship between thyroid, estrogen, cortisol, and progesterone. All of these hormones affect each other, and all of them affect your ability to feel great, have energy, burn fat, and get body results. Excess stress increases cortisol, cortisol increases estrogen. Estrogen and cortisol both impede thyroid hormone production and progesterone levels. So the relationship between these is basically more thyroid hormone, healthy levels of progesterone, and less cortisol and estrogen, and vice versa. So a big part of the Revenge Body Metabolic Revamp is optimizing your thyroid hormone conversion and your gut health. Because if you start with thyroid, the other three generally fall into place. And if you have a healthy liver and gut, you'll convert more thyroid hormone. Your liver loves glucose and fructose. The more glucose and fructose you consume, the more T4 you'll convert in the liver and the higher your BMR will be. Oh, sorry again, keto. Glucose comes from carbs. Your gut loves prebiotics, probiotics to eat those prebiotics and produce postbiotics and sufficient dietary fiber. So fermented foods, prebiotic foods, and lots of yummy fruits and veggies for that fiber. By prioritizing gut health, liver health, and fueling your body with micronutrients like iodine, selenium, magnesium, while also decreasing stress as much as you can, you create a hormonal environment that will increase quality of life, increase energy and libido, and make fat burning much, much easier.